Milwaukee Bucks rookie Sterling Brown plans to file a civil rights lawsuit against the Milwaukee Police Department as a result of being tased and arrested in January. According to his attorney, Mark Thompson of Jean Gras, Cates, and Walks, Brown and the Bucks have been told the body camera footage of the incident will be released Wednesday, Thompson said. His comments came as the police department braces for a backlash when it releases the video of Brown's arrest, which began when officers questioned Brown about a parking violation. Three sources who have watched the video have told the Journal Sentinel that the NBA player does not appear to do anything provocative during the incident. He isn't combative, isn't threatening, said one source. Very bad. The sources asked that their names not be used because they weren't authorized to speak publicly about the video. Related, video of tasing and arrest of Milwaukee Bucks player Sterling Brown to be released. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett said earlier this week that the actions of the officers depicted in the video made him uneasy. I'm going to let the release of that speak for itself, but yes, I definitely have concerns after watching that video. Barrett said at a news conference Monday. Brown's arrest did not result in criminal charges against the NBA guard and prompted an internal investigation on the police response, including the role of supervisors. As of Monday, the internal affairs investigation was still listed as open and the police department has not said if any of the officers involved are facing discipline. A department spokeswoman has not responded to requests for more information. The incident with Brown began about 2 a.m. January 26 when officers doing a business check at the Walgreens near West National Avenue and South 26th Street saw a vehicle parked across two handicapped spaces. According to Milwaukee Police In its initial statement, Milwaukee Police said officers spoke with a 22-year-old man about the situation and an electronic control device was deployed during the encounter. Brown had been arrested on a possible misdemeanor charge of resisting or obstructing an officer, but after an internal review that included viewing body camera footage, police officials decided not to refer him to prosecutors. He was cited for a parking violation, a police spokesman said at the time. Brown played in a game later that day and had bruises and marks on his face. He told reporters then it was a personal issue and declined to discuss it further. The box signed Brown, a six foot six guard out of Southern Methodist University. Last summer, in a deal with the Philadelphia 76ers, after that team had drafted Brown with the 46th overall pick. Daniel Bice and Mary Spicuzza of the Journal Sentinel staff contributed to this report.